Hello, I am Michelle with two L's. And I'm Natalie the Red. And we are Force of I Entertainment. And today we are back to do another first time watching reaction. Uh, last time we watched a movie that I hadn't seen in quite some time, uh, being Kill Bill. Uh, this time we're going to be watching the a movie. The tables have turned, my it's, friends. It's true. This time we're going to be watching a movie I have never seen. And Natalie saw some time back. And that is the uh, famous Bruce Willis movie, The Sixth Sense. It's one of those movies you just say my... to yourself and really to Shell right now. How have you not seen this movie? Well, you did. Well, you were you know a little older in life because That's true. It came out when I was like really young, and it just wasn't something at that time that looked that interesting at that age that I was at at that point. And then I just somehow just haven't been like, man, I got to watch The Sixth Sense. I don't know. I've just never watched it. Well, let's see if she changes her mind after she sees it. Yes, I, I do know. The only thing I know about this movie is the famous line, which how do you not know? I see dead people. Uh, and I, I don't know if this was M. Night Shyamalan's first movie, but I know it was, it was his first big hit that kind of yeah. put him on the scene. And even to this day, I think he kind of rides on the <laughs> coattail of The Sixth Sense and Signs, uh, which I have seen that one, Signs. Uh, but yeah, and those of you that are watching that enjoy reactions, enjoy reviews, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also give the video a thumbs up and click the notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime we put out a new reaction or review. But without further delay, let's, ladies and gentlemen, yes, let's watch The Six Cents. Yes. <laughs> really going for that music. One fine frame, that is. I never told you, but you sound a little like Dr. Seuss when you're drunk. I'd say it cost at least a couple hundred. I'm going to read it for you. In recognition of his outstanding achievement in the field of child psychology. You concentrate. Okay. His continuing efforts. It's really gulp on that drink. <laughs> Children, the city of Philadelphia proudly bestows upon its son, Dr. Malcolm Crowe, the nearest citation for professional excellence. We should hang out in the bathroom. <laughs> this is an important night for us. Finally, someone is recognizing the sacrifices you've made. But you would put everything second, including me, for those families that they're talking about. I'm like, I don't know if that's great, but... <laughs> I'm like, that's kind of awkward. This is 47 Locust Street. There are no needles or prescription drugs of any kind in this house. Do you know why you're afraid when you're alone? I do. What do you want? What he promised me! I know you. Don't you even remember your own patience? I'm telling you. Doesn't seem he was successful. <laughs> Possible mood disorder. I was afraid. Just give me a minute. I waited 10 years for you. It's so great. I do remember you. Compassionate. Unusually compassionate. Feels like reverse psychology. <laughs> you failed me. You failed me! Let me try. Just, Just give me a chance. chance. Oh. Forgot that. My name is Dr. Malcolm Crow. We were supposed, supposed to meet today, but I missed our appointment. Sorry. And in the olden days in Europe, people used to hide out in churches. What were they hiding from? Bad people mostly. People that wanted to put them in jail. Notice your eyeglasses. They don't have any lenses in them. <laughs> They're my dad's. The lenses hurt my eyes. Are you a good doctor? I used to be. I won an award once from the mayor. It's like, thank you for interrupting my quiet time. <laughs> I'm going to see you again, right? If that's okay with you. Hi. 
you get this box? Yes. You're looking for baby pop tarts right here. Anything bad about me? Oh, I was not thinking something bad about you. Got it. Is that Colette or whatever her name is? Yeah, she looks so different. I know. Pop tarts. Pop tarts are banned in most countries, by the way. <laughs> are they? Yeah. Not surprising. No. <laughs> Why is he always running? He's like a little force gun. <laughs> hey, freak. How'd you like that armor on the shoulder bit? Well, that was mean. It's called improv. Why does he have a little gray streak in his hair? Have you noticed that? Who, I mean, little Haley. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't notice. I mean, it looks like a little gray, like a little gray patch in the back of his head. He's under a lot of stress. <laughs> <laughs> he grayed young. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of awkward. Hey, baby. You now you can tell me things if you need to. Do some triangle pancakes. We got an hour. Pop tarts, pancakes. This kid's diet's not helping anything. <laughs> Want to play a game? It's a mind reading game. Here's how it works. I read your mind. If what I say is right, you take one step towards the chair. If what I say is wrong, you take one step back. Reach the chair, you sit down. You reach the door, you can go. He's like, not particularly. He's like, if I must. <laughs> when your mother and father were first divorced, your mom wanted to see a doctor like me, and he didn't help her. So you think I'm not going to be able to help you? He's like, I'm going to make this a real baby step. <laughs> you have a secret, but you don't want to tell me. Your dad gave you that watch as a present just before he went away. Oh. Forgot it in a drawer. Does it work? You keep pretty quiet in school, but you're a good student. You've never really been in any serious trouble. <laughs> He's like, dang it! <laughs> I was supposed to draw a picture. I drew a man. He got hurt in the neck by another man with a screwdriver. You saw that on TV, Cole? I mean, we've just lost all the ground we made. I don't draw like that anymore. How do you draw now? Draw... People smiling. Rainbows. They don't have meetings about rainbows. I guess they don't. What am I thinking now? <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking now. He's like, that's not how this works. Just <laughs> thinking, you're nice, but you can't help me. Why do I feel like this kid's been through something really dark? <laughs> Is it just me, or did he deliver that line, like, super well? Oh, no, it's already very obvious, like, that he was a great kid actor. Yeah. I saw that, like, in the first opening scene. I'm so sorry, Anna. I just can't seem to keep track of time. And I didn't have a very good session today, I both so similar. Same mannerisms, same expressions, same things hanging over their head. I know that it makes you mad. I just feel like I'm being given a second chance and I don't want it to slip away. Happy anniversary. She doesn't look at me like everybody else, and I don't want her to. I don't want her to know. Know what? That I'm a freak. <laughs> you are not a freak. Okay? See right there. Oh, yeah. Anybody I think it's just the way the light catches this. Okay. Free association writing is when you take a pencil in your hand and you put the pencil to a piece of paper and you start writing. Keep your hand moving long enough, words and thoughts start coming out that you didn't even know you had in you. Feelings you had deep inside of you. Have you ever done any free association writing, Cole? <laughs> That'd be a little disturbing to read from your son. <laughs> upset words. Did you ever write any upset words it? before your father left? I don't remember. If you change something in your life, anything at all, what would it be? Instead of something I want, can it be something I don't want? I don't want to be scared anymore. What city was capital of the United States of America from 1790 to 1800? Philadelphia. The city you live in 
Almost any place you go in the city has a history and a story behind it. Can anyone guess what this building was used for a hundred years ago? They used to hang people here. Oh. <laughs> no, uh, that, mm -mm, that's not correct. No. <laughs> it's like, that's not it. <laughs> Pull the people in crying and kissing their families by. Cole, this, this building was a legal courthouse. Laws were passed here. Some of the very first laws of this country. They were the ones that hanged everybody. <laughs> Spitting facts. I don't like people looking at me like that. <laughs> You're a stuttering Stanley. <laughs> you talked funny when you went to school here. You talked funny all the way to high school. How did you stop looking at me? Who have you? Stuttering Stanley! Stuttering Stanley! Man, now he's stuttering. Shut up, you freak! Open this door, please, God. I swear in my life I didn't take the master's horse. It's quite the staircase. Yeah. Happy birthday, Derek. Is there something you want to see in there? No. We're gonna put on a pretend play. Want to be in it? Okay. You know this isn't gonna go good. It's called Locked in the Dungeon. Yeah. Oh no, this poor kid. Uh, it's like, does someone have a key? Yeah, right. The test would indicate he did not have a seizure. After some rest, he could go home tonight. So oh, that's M. Night Shyamalan, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I think so. What happened to my child today? Something was happening to him, physically happening. Something was very wrong. Okay, I'm so sorry about why you're sad. You think I'm sad? It's like I know you're sad. <laughs> Her eyes told me. I'm not supposed to talk about stuff like that. Once upon a time, there was this person named Malcolm. He worked with children. He loved it more than anything else. And then one night, he found out that he made a mistake with one of them. And he can't stop thinking about it. He can't forget. Ever since then, things have been different. He's not the same person that he used to be. And his wife doesn't like the person that he's become. They barely speak anymore. They're like strangers. And Malcolm decides to try and help this new boy because he feels that if he could help this new boy, it'd be like helping that other one too. Where's the story end? I want to tell you my secret now. I see dead people. There it is. I knew that line. <laughs> Graves and coffins. Walking around like regular people. They only see what they want to see. They don't know they're dead. How often do you see them? All the time. They're everywhere. He's like, well, they didn't prepare me for this in school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, get ready. <laughs> oh. Mama? No. Oh. Dinner is not ready. You can't hurt me anymore! Look what you made me do! Manny! Cole, I was really interested in what you told me at the hospital. I'd like to hear more about it. I'm guessing he doesn't like cats. <laughs> what? Oh! Something up there? This kid is truly tortured. Yeah. Are you real still? Do you ever feel the prickly things on the back of your neck and the tiny hairs on your arm? You know, when they stand up, that's them. When they get mad, it gets cold. I don't see anything. Are you sure they're there? He's like, yep. <laughs> Pretty sure. <laughs> Maybe someone came in our house, took the bumblebee pendant out of my closet, and placed it nicely in your drawer. Maybe. 
I'm tired in my heart. I need some help. It happens. I don't know if, you, if we can't talk to each other, we're not gonna make it. Did you take the bumblebee pendant? They really break your heart for this little kid. Go! Because he's trying to be honest. <laughs> oh. Oh! 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 If you're not very mad, can I sleep in your bed tonight? I'm not very mad. Cole, what's wrong? Please tell me! Oh, please! You can't be your doctor anymore. I haven't paid enough attention to my family. I'm gonna transfer you. Don't give up. You're the only one who can help me. I know it. I can't help you. Believe me, right? Dr. Crow, you believe my secret, right? I don't know how to answer that, Cole. How can you help me if you don't believe me? It's cold in here, Vincent. Why are you crying? You won't believe. It's cold in here. When I was a kid, I had this blood test done, and I threw up chili cheese fries all over this male nurse. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not picking up what he got out of that. It's like there's somebody in the room talking. You know what? Yo no quiero morir means Spanish means I don't want to die. What do you think these ghosts want when they talk to you? Just help. That's what I think too. They just want to help even the scary ones. I think I might know a way to make them go away and listen to them. Like, I'd have to go back and rewind what he got out of that previous recording, how he came to this conclusion. Yeah. What's happening? Is someone hurting you? Okay. Oh, seize the breath. I feel like I know what that means. Yeah. I didn't need that. It's not ever the most pleasant. Mm. <laughs> if I get any more, I might join her. <laughs> Table for two. <laughs> He's gonna be brave. I don't know if I'd be that brave. <laughs> Little Misha Barton. I'm feeling much better now. He's like, oh, okay. Do you want to tell me something? He's like, I'd prefer if you do it quickly. <laughs> uh, my 2.30 is going to be in 10 minutes. Those like that have always creeped me out quite a bit. Let's just say I didn't ever have any. Yeah. <laughs> Mine weren't that creepy. <laughs> and the ones on strings are real creepy. Yeah. Oh, it's puppets, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> She's looking real ghostly. <laughs> Excuse me, mister. Are you curious, Daddy? Just for you. I wanted to tell you something. Hmm. Would you like to dance? Well, actually, I just came with my friends. We can dance for a little bit, and if you don't like the way I dance, you can kick me. Hmm. Oh. Time for lunch, Kira. 
That's that's a lot to take in. That yeah, that's a lot to take in. It's just like who would do that to like your kid? That's people do. They have. You get sick in the afternoons. Munchausen by proxy. Oh. Man. You were keeping her sick. Hashtag exposed. Yeah. And it's like they said the other one was getting sick too. Yes, so she was beginning that. she was beginning to do it to the second child. I mean yes. my gosh, what a sicko. She looked out for you. Is Kara coming back? No. Calling for the stable boy. Oh, you have to hurry. Who uh, who were you talking to? <laughs> Oh. 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 Just practicing my lines. Thanks for giving me this part, Mr. Cunningham. You know, when I went to school here, there was a Well, Lisa's teacher was like pretty forgiving from his incident. Yeah, and that they're just having a you know, a good exchange. It's sweet. Only he who is pure of heart can take the sword from the stone. Let the boy try. <laughs> that kid. He's a stable boy. He cleans up after the horses. <laughs> he did not deliver that line with much enthusiasm. Yas. <laughs> like his, any like his thing at the beginning about like what he was that laugh. <laughs> That smile from like, Bruce Willis. It really did happen. Yeah, then he he did get to be that character. And... Oh, yeah. That school almost looks like a church. It does. Pretty. I thought Tommy Tomasimo sucked big time. <laughs> <laughs> he really did, though. I got an idea how you can talk to your wife. Wait till she's asleep. Then she'll listen to you and she won't even know it. I'm not going to see you anymore, am I? Maybe we can pretend like we're going to see each other tomorrow. <laughs> Just for pretend. Okay. See, I don't know why this part gets me. It's getting me too. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, Cole. Uh, I'm okay, officer. Uh, I'm okay. Jeez, I hope nobody got hurt. You're very quiet. You're meant to miss the play, aren't you? I have two jobs, baby. You know how important they are for us. I give anything to have been there. I'm ready to communicate with you now. <laughs> it's an interesting way of wording it. It's direct, I like it. Tell you my secrets. What is it? You know the accident up there? A lady. She died. Oh my god, but you can see it? <laughs> Where is she? Standing next to my window. Oh. <laughs> She's like, uh, uh. Cole, you're scaring me. They scare me too sometimes. You see ghosts, Cole? They want me to do things for them. They talk to you? <laughs> they tell you to do things? They're the ones that used to hurt me. Mm. What are you thinking, Mama? Mama? <laughs> you think I'm a freak? <laughs> I would never think that about you. Ever. She's like, I don't really know what to say about this, though. <laughs> I love that response. <laughs> Grandma says hi. She says she's sorry for taking the bumblebee pendant. She just likes it a lot. Oh, that's very wrong. She wanted me to tell you she saw you dance. When you were little, you and her had a fight right before your dance recital. You thought she didn't come to see you dance. She did. It's gonna be again. <laughs> she hid in the back so you wouldn't see it. She said you were like an angel. She said you came to the place where they buried her. Asked her a question. She said the answer is every day. Do I make her proud? It was a heck of a scene. <laughs> <laughs> now my nose is running. I see people. 
they got the other dead. How often do you see them? All the time. They're everywhere. They only see what they want to see. Table for one. So he's dead. <laughs> well, she's bre- I mean, she sees her breath. And it all makes sense. <laughs> that shot didn't look super fatal, though. But it's crazy, though, isn't it? It's like... Let me see. I mean, it kind of seemed like it was in a place oh, that God. you could get help. You guys, I've been holding this on. <laughs> but it also makes sense why she's been silent this whole movie now. Yeah, it all starts to make sense. It's like it's the, the genius of <laughs> it. That shot just didn't look as bad. I don't know. I think I'm okay, really. I think it just went... Went in and out. I, it doesn't even hurt anymore. I mean, what the heck did it hit in that area? Probably a vital organ. What? I, what vital organ? Wait, so she's lived in this house for, like, over a year with him dead? I feel like I would have got me a new house. <laughs> Oh, I was no. just thinking what a pretty room it was. I mean, it's a pretty room, but like your husband got shot to death in the, in the house. I think I can go now. It's not really a pleasant memory every night. Just needed to do a couple things. Needed to help someone. I think I did. And I needed to tell you something. You were never second. That's right. I love you. Good night, Luke. Good night, sweetheart. And that's it. Man, guys, that movie got emotional to see. <laughs> it did get emotional. Man, I think that's only the, the second time either one of us have teared up in one of these reactions. The last time being for, for our boy Eddie from Stranger Things. R.I.P. Eddie. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the sixth sense besides yes. being emotional and making us tear up. Uh, I thought it was an excellent movie. Uh, very unique story. I mean, kind yeah. of a big twist there at the end. And just um, so well acted. So, uh, yes. The two, the two stars. Yes. Uh, what's his name? Haley Joel Haley Osment. Haley Joel Osment. How old was he during this movie? I mean, he did a phenomenal job in that role. Like, just incredible. Yes. Like, like it's just everything, like, his, just his facial expressions, his uh, vocal inflections, everything was so real. Yes. Like, it was, you know, yes. spot like, on. Like, this movie literally without, a could have gone so wrong with any other child actor but like because it's so dependent on him him and bruce willis their relationship and it just like they had chemistry like you know you know what i mean by chemistry in <laughs> not a romantic way yeah well, in the other way but they and, definitely did yes they had phenomenal chemistry the two of them and bruce willis you know coming so from good. coming from movies like uh why does go why just go right more kind of like action you know action movies, movies yeah like uh die hard die right? hard that's what i was thinking of i couldn't think of and then to this wow like he did a phenomenal job so just so good to get and he's just like his character in this like an interacting with him it's like he's just he's precious too. yes like he's just there's such a sweetness and a kindness in his face like as he's searching for answers clearly and like it's just it's just so it yeah it's such a kind of dark movie in some aspects. There's so much hope and beauty and light kind of at the same time. Yeah, because like this movie, it really balanced like one, it was very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I mean, you just don't get scripts that good that often, really, especially right. in the last 20 years. I haven't seen many scripts that good. And then uh, I mean, had a great script. Uh, great interest like intrigue like there'd be these elements of horror like him walking by the the hanging people and seeing the ghost or the kid with the the head that you know clearly been shot or almost the worst in my opinion the woman in the kitchen do you yes you yes else? yes the woman <laughs> yes i mean there were so many creepy moments and like you felt you felt like the horror for this kid and the situation yes. you felt for this kid so much throughout this movie uh so you do feel you know, at the end, he gets some closure, I guess. Uh, but yeah, phenomenal acting, great story. 
I see why M. Night Shyamalan, you know, I think this and Signs are his two probably most beloved movies, but dang, that is a very good movie. Well acted, great movie. Uh, even though it is sad, it also like it, you know, it balances the sadness with other elements. Well, and like once, especially, you know, it's like once you learn what really happened and that he has in fact been gone this whole time, it makes it all even, makes sense. It, well, of course it all makes sense, but you get almost even more a sense of they were there for each other to help each other, you know? And it's like, really, they both kind of got what they needed through each other. Yeah. You know, it was sort of like, uh, you know, he helped him overcome like, okay, this is actually a gift you can do something with and you're not a freak and you can like, you know, and he kind of helped him realize what was and to go on. I'm going to believe to heaven, you know, <laughs> yeah. at the end, like, and uh, so it was just like, they both helped each other so much. And that's part of the dynamicness of this duo. Yes. And I, I like, I know in signs, he did that too. M. Night Shyamalan, you know, I guess he's kind of into the supernatural, I guess you would say, but uh, definitely had some, some, some Christian imagery there with the church and uh, different stuff, which I appreciated. I liked. Oh, me too. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a fantastic movie. Uh, have it teared up in a movie in a while but anyways let's rate this movie it has, it has Shelly going today it got me it got me in my feels but well, that one scene was so sad it was so sad it was so sad to realize you lose the daughter because you're crazy wife I mean it's just awful but anyways yeah it's just um let, let's get into ranking of this movie uh basing on a five being the max level of level of enjoyment entertainment I give this movie, I give the Sixth Sense five out of five foods. I thought that was a phenomenal movie. It truly, like, it 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 interests me from the moment it started, and it didn't lose my interest the whole time. Like it was it was tight knit. It was under two hours, but dang, that was a that was a very entertaining movie. And I have to agree. And as the one, you know, in full transparency, I had seen this movie a while back for the first time, and I did just think like. I could, I don't remember movies, like all the details the best sometimes when I've seen it a while before, but I just remember thinking like, dang, that was a good movie when I saw yes. it. So, I mean, I wasn't surprised that I enjoyed it equally or more the second time, me knowing, you know, that he's gone, like, it, and then it makes so much sense. Yeah. And it's like, you're seeing it from this, you know, a whole different perspective watching it for the second time, but then, it, and it's fun to watch somebody who's never seen it watch it. Yeah, so now I don't know why it took so long to watch The Sixth Sense. Uh, five out of five hoots. Uh, fantastic Absolutely. movie. Great job. Uh, I wish that we could get more movies on this level. Yes. <laughs> like, very good movie. Uh, de definitely enjoyed it. But what are you guys' thoughts on The Sixth Sense? Did you see it in theaters? Were you shocked? Were, yeah. How what did were your you feeling? How did you handle that final when you push piece everything together? Because like the kid does say it makes sense. You know, I see dead people and he's been with them the whole time and everyone's kind of ignoring them, but you don't really think about it until you're forced to at the end. So what did you think at that reveal? Did you tear up in this movie? Yeah. We want it, we know we want to know it all. We want comments. we want the details. So we share want transparency here. So share your thoughts below. And if you have not yet, hit the subscribe button. Also give the video a thumbs up. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember to, to be, be a force, force of light. light. All right. Bye, bye guys.